There are many decisions, questions and examinations facing medical students and high school students planning to study medicine. An important decision is whether to take up the opportunity to spend part of your study and practice of medicine in rural or remote Australia. I think there's a lot of misconceptions that you will be disadvantaged and I think, to be honest, it's what you make of it and I don't think there's any disadvantage at all if you're willing to get out there and, um, and have a go and get, get your hands dirty kind of thing. Um, I think that opportunity is just as good in the, in the country hospitals, if not better. I can't think of a single person up here who hasn't enjoyed their time and that hasn't come away from this experience having developed skills they wouldn't have had the chance to develop in the city. I think what the university is doing here is great, it's like finding people who are open to rural practice and then sort of assisting them to learn medicine and go out and practice it, so I don't think there's a downside to it, I think it's great. In a um, professional sense the, the work is fantastic, it's like I think people think it's quite backward out here and that you're working in the third world, but it's definitely the facilities are, are really good um, and you've got, you've got plenty of support. The best thing about being rural is that people recognise you, people tend to be more, I suppose, um, excited to give you a little bit more of a go and it's definitely a lot more hands-on. It's really good to be able to try and apply um, the clinical stuff that you're learning and being able to sort of use it actually on patients instead of just sort of in the classroom. I've probably developed more skills more quickly and learned more medicine more rapidly in this last six months that I've been in Broken Hill than I would say over my last clinical year based in the City Hospital in Adelaide. I didn't know quite what to expect coming out to a place like this and, and working with predominantly Indigenous community but I think people are a bit scared of doing something culturally inappropriate but I think the most culturally inappropriate you can, thing you can do is just to not come here and and not get amongst it. Prescribing um, medication for you know someone's sick kid or something like that. Um, you're not just treating the kid. You're not just treating you know the mum and dad. You're treating everyone as a family. And if you want to help people, you want to help the people who need it the most. Then at the moment, that's people in rural areas. I'd never been further west than Dubbo before coming out here, and I just thought it would be you know pretty flat and dull. But yeah, it's amazing scenery and plenty of hills. Like I've joined the mountain bike club as well, which is pretty good release as well. I like the community aspects of the rural life. So I've, you know, like I've previously been involved in the rural fire service, and I play music, and I like to sort of have a regular musical session where you know people can come along and play. I'm more than happy to get involved in a sense of community and I think to me that's the biggest draw card. Um, you know, when you finish work at the end of the day, you can go and jump in the yeah, jump in the local pool, go for a swim, you can, you know, head down to the beach or go for a run. In terms of developing new friends and new social life, uh, getting involved with the community, it's been fantastic. And uh, the only way I can explain this is the way I explained it to students back in Adelaide, which was come to Broken Hill, come and do it, because it's going to change your life and possibly change your career. It's just been phenomenal, really. Like, pairing notes to the guys that are back in, in Sydney, we just get so much more attention, so much more sort of hands-on experience. Um, and the community's really sort of, they, they go out of their way to look after you. I'm always going to look back on my country experience as a good thing and at this stage they've almost won me over. Everyone that has come out on this placement, every, every single one of us has said we can't wait to get into some rural practice after people that weren't even really thinking about it. I think especially if you get the opportunity to go rural, I think grab it with both hands and uh, I'd certainly, certainly recommend it. When you're considering a rural placement as a medical student, my advice would be go for it.